Kamala Harris has raised $200 million in her first week as the presumptive Democratic nominee for November's election. Our Bloomberg TV anchor, Kriti Gupta, is with us uh, for more on the political story in the US. Kriti, can you put these numbers in context for us? How big is this fundraising drive? How does it compare to what Donald Trump's taking in? Yeah, so $200 million is, is where we're at here. And, and this is really important because 66% of that $200 million has come from first-time donors. And this is a really big deal because one of the big reasons for Kamala Harris uh, to, to even have this focus on campaign up pushing in the first place is that a lot of the pool of money that was really set aside for the Biden campaign and really raised through the Democratic National uh, Party was meant to be kind of something inherited by Kamala Harris. So for her to say that actually more than even half of that new money is coming from first time donors really shows that this isn't really an inheritance story. This is actually more of kind of broadening support, not just among the Democratic Party, but among independents as well. This is something that's being reflected in the poll numbers as well. I think that's as well very significant because her numbers have skyrocketed rocketed from 35% of an approval rating up to 43% to the latest ABC poll. Now, I want to I want to just kind of caution with that, that there is a honeymoon phase that a lot of political strategists are call, talking about. She's very exciting. She's very new. She's doing fun things on, on TikTok and media and all that uh, kind of uh, more uh, not... Uh, trying to see more cater to a younger crowd. I think jazzy. Is the, is the way to say it. Yes, jazzy. <laughs> let's call it that. Um, and, and that is showing up in the numbers. She's also mm-hmm. talking about some very interesting VP picks. All of these things are showing up in the numbers, but they may not last. And I think that's the key part. Yeah, but then how's the Trump campaign then playing? I mean, obviously emphasizing a point like that, I imagine. Yeah, they, they really are. And they're saying, I mean, there's there's some criticism, of course, coming from the likes of J.D. Vance, some mm. criticism like talking about childless mothers. Of course, Kamala Harris is a stepmother to two children, but doesn't have any children of her own. So that is a criticism that's being used in the MAGA camp and, and playing among a domestic audience and, and really talking about bringing up issues like her, her views on abortion or her views on, on um, gun control and, and things like that. That. So that's a, a one of the ways that this is being tackled. The other is uh, coming from President Trump himself, really saying that, look, she's not going to be appealing to a broader crowd. And he's actually taking a different approach and appealing to actually a Bitcoin crowd. I know that sounds like two different things, but the reason it's so significant is simply because uh, the idea is who gets kind of the bigger numbers, who gets massive. She's appealing to the female vote. And if she's appealing to kind of the minority vote, perhaps, then the way that Donald Trump and the Trump campaign is talking about is doing it more to kind of a decentralized uh, monetary uh, kind of meme stock crypto crowd. And that's one way of getting, uh, getting more votes.